In this video, we're going to make an axe uh, that when you click, you'll see it swing in front of you in, in your game. So have a look at the other quick Blender videos, because I'm going to have to go a little faster here. So hopefully you can already know how to make an axe. SY.5 and SX.5. Now SZ5 for the shaft. Um, I'm going to face select, right click, E, right click, E, um, S, Z, and then I'm just going to hold, right click and hold shift, W, merge at center, W, or er, right click and shift, W, merge at center. So this is going to be our axe. That's good enough. And now we need to animate it, so we need to get some new windows. You gotta click this, these lines up here, and click and drag. We need two more, actually. So this is our 3D view, that's this screen. Here needs to be a timeline, and here needs to be a dope sheet. So we need to tell the dope sheet about three frames. Where we start, here, when we swing, down here, and then when we come back up here. So, um, I think you click this, so it will make some frames for us. We'll go to, you left click, and I'll go to, I'll mouse wheel to, to zoom in on that a little bit, because it's going to be pretty fast. 24 is a second, I think, so just right here, after really quickly, it's going to come down. I'm going to press um, in object mode. So I'm going to press R and Y to lock it onto the Y rotate. Now I'm going to click. And so it made these little yellow things there um, for that. Now if I'm going to press N, I'm actually going to go put this. I click left click at zero again, and I'm gonna put the rotation at zero. Enter, so it made more. And then right here, I'm going to press zero again. So now if we left click here and press plate, that's our beautiful animation. So now we're gonna save it into our project. File, save as, um, ugly axe, right? I made that folder from before. We're gonna call it ugly axe. and export to FBX as well, just in case we need it, we probably do. Okay, so in Unity, you should have assets, a folder called meshes, you might need to make it. That's where I put my axe. Uh, there's another folder, ugly axe. Okay, so we got our two files here. I'm gonna use FBX, it says down there. There's blend, FBX. Um, so when you click on that, you got to check scale factors, one, that's good. Rig, animation type, legacy, that's just, there's many ways to do animation, that's the one I know best. And uh, so then we can click and drag our axe into the game, and when we press play, we see the animation happened. Uh, that's just automatically, so on the right here, play automatically. I'm going to turn that off, and now we're going to write a script to do that. So in scripts, right click, create C sharp script, call it swing axe, and open that up. So we're going to check every frame if we're pressing the H key, then we're going to do animation.play. Whoops play and here we actually need the name of our animation so back to unity uh, meshes and it says right here it's called default take because I didn't name it so it's default space take with capitals now when we play We press H. Oh, I didn't attach the script here. Swing X. It's 
I attached it to the X. Now when I press H, you see the animation happen, except it goes to the center. Do you see it moved? It was over, or all the way over there. Now when I press H, it came here. That's because the animation moves it to zero, zero, zero. So if we want it to stay where it was, we need to put it in an empty game object container. So game object, create empty. This will contain our axe. So on the left, it, well, I'll name it axe. And on the left, we have ugly axe and axe. So ugly axe is our model. I'm going to left click and hold and then let go on axe. And now we need to put ugly axe at 0, 0, 0. So now when we press H, it will swing and stay there. Now we just need to put this in front of us. And remember now, when we move it, we don't want to move Ugly Axe. That's good at 0, 0, 0. And whatever Blender wants these rotations to be, leave that. It's all good. We want to move Axe. Axe is the container we're going to be moving around our player, and we can move this one. So now we need to just position it in front of the camera, and it's going to have to be smaller. 10%, let's say. And we'll just move it in front of the camera. And so you can also uh, click on the left here your player and the main camera to get a preview right there of what we see. So I'm going to move it here. I'm going to press E to rotate. You can also click up here, the rotate button, W. And that's OK-ish. Okay, so we see that's where it is, but if I press play, it is not attached to me, it's just floating there. So we need to click the axe, not ugly axe, click the axe, left click and hold, let go into player, now it's attached to us. It's there, and when we press H we swing. And there you go. We can imagine like we're attacking things now, I guess. Wow.